There is a terror afflicting medical health centers today, and it's called Biofilm. No, we're not talking about nature documentaries. Biofilms are communities of bacteria that combine together, making themselves resistant against our arsenal of antibiotics. You see, while we have drugs that can kill a single bacterium, what a world, what a world. When bacteria assemble together, there are no such drugs that can match the force of biofilm. This is extremely dangerous for healthcare facilities where biofilm can come in contact with open wounds, taking away the ability for the wounds to heal. The elderly, diabetics, and people with compromised immune systems are especially vulnerable, and oftentimes the only recourse is amputation. As if all that weren't bad enough, the extra cost for treating these conditions puts pressure on the whole healthcare system. But in the end, the burden falls not back on the hospital, but on the patient. What can be done? Enter metabolomics. Metabolomics is a way of looking at cells and their environment to see what they've been up to. It's kind of like the CSI of cell investigation. When a cell goes about its business, it leaves a lot of stuff behind. It's like looking in someone's apartment and coming up with a story of their recent lives. Looking at this guy's apartment, we see he's been eating a lot of pizza, not doing much laundry, ignoring his dishes, and watching a whole lot of cartoons. We can make educated guesses about his lifestyle based on what we see. Hey. It's much the same with cells. We call the bits and pieces that a cell leaves behind metabolites. When you look at all of those metabolites, by detecting chemical signatures through nuclear magnetic resonance and mass spectrometry, you can start to understand what's been going on inside the cell. How does that help us with biofilms? Well, with support from the NIH Common Fund, Dr. Amons is researching ways to use metabolomics against biofilms. For example, it could be a great way to diagnose a problem in the first place. Through this research, we may be able to better understand the biofilm lifestyle. If we know their energy source, perhaps we can cut them off to weaken or kill them. We might even be able to train macrophages to defeat them, a particular kind of immune cell that searches out and eats bacteria. Or it could be something that we haven't even thought of yet. Using a complex systems biology approach, Dr. Amon's research has the potential to uncover novel metabolic mechanisms and therapeutic targets. And with the help from the Common Fund, that research may help us all.